Hi guys, my name is Rosanna Moore. I have a small sporting goods store called uh, Moore Sports Center in Wellsboro, Pennsylvania. So we're all just kind of in uh, our homes right now under lockdown. Some of us are still able to work. Um, here in Pennsylvania, if you have a life-sustaining business, you can continue to work and the rest of us are just kind of trying to stay home and not spreading this virus and making anything any worse. Um, it's really a terrible time right now. My sporting goods store does sell firearms. It is deemed um, life-sustaining here in Pennsylvania, so I get to uh, be open by appointment. So, um, hang on, my dog is gonna be bad. Trapper, don't. So anyways, um, what I wanted to do while I'm not at my shop um, distributing uh, firearms and ammo to people that need it um, to continue to protect themselves in their homes or to go hunting because um, we are fastly approaching turkey season. So there's a lot of stuff coming up and we always have coyote season here. So lots of stuff to keep us busy here in the country. Um, but what I wanted to do was while I'm here, I do a lot of really cool stuff. This garage has a lot going on. So first I'm gonna start by telling you because you're gonna see these behind me the whole time. And my Weimer Aner is being bad. He wants my attention, so he's laying on my leg. But you're gonna see these in the video. So these are country hams. Um, I raised and butchered two hogs a few weeks back. So these country hams will hang here for about three months. Um, then I'll take them down. They're curing in a salt and uh, different spices mix right now. And then I'll take them down, take that crust off, and then resock them, rehang them. They'll hang for a few more months. And that's called a country ham. And those are really, really good. So anyways, that's what's hanging behind me. And then over to the side, I have some um, rabbit hides tanning from a rabbit hunt that I did. Um, I also have some hides drying and then over here I have heirloom seeds growing so I do a little bit of everything but one really really fun thing that I do is I have a taxidermy license so I um, clean skulls for people. I have dermested beetles and let's see if I can find you one here. Here's a little guy. Let's see if I can get him. So they're hard to see and he's got some dust on him but oh dropped him gonna be hard to show you a beetle okay right let's see if you can see them they're very very tiny so beetles are kind of the end stage of the process but dermestid beetles clean my skulls for me and um, get them nice and white so I am getting behind on my skull cleaning and I wanted to catch up on that and I thought while I'm doing some of the fun stuff that I get to do high tanning and skull cleaning and and I'm here at home that maybe I would share some of that with you there's my Weimaraner where he's going now <laughs> he's just as busy as I am anyways um, so these beaver skulls are these were old um, someone brought these in to me and they had them frozen but they are in really bad shape so these uh, beaver skulls are gonna they're gonna be a lot of work for me so I don't bleach them um, I let my beetles clean them up and then I will Put them in some warm water because there's some pieces that they haven't been able to get off there. I let them work on it, but then I had a bear skull that had to go in. So I pulled these guys out because they did the majority of work and I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning them up myself. So I'm gonna put them in some hot water, soften that back up and get that off there myself. So after I do that, um, and beavers are so cool, their teeth are really cool. When you get their skull clean, I'll show you this in just a second, their teeth still stay this color and they're just, super super neat looking um, skulls to set on the shelf or um, so anyways after I do that and that will have two pieces so you'll have the bottom and the top but as you can see there's still a lot of work for me to do so after I put that in hot water then I use um, cream peroxide developer so this is for hair you can get this right on um, Amazon or any beauty supply store right now trying to order all my supplies because I'm trying to stay in and uh, you know not go out in public practice social distancing so this is what will go on after I pull them out of the water and I just keep a, a kettle of hot water right here and just turn it on whenever I'm gonna use it so I have a few of those goals to do what gave me the idea to do um, dermestid beetles was I trap a lot and a lot of my friends hunt a lot and um, wanted some skulls done and um, 
I hate to throw any part of the animal away. I mean, certainly there are some parts that we're not gonna be able to use. And on predators, predators are a touchy subject because we don't eat a lot of that meat. Um, some people do, but most people don't. But their numbers still have to be controlled. So when um, you're running trap lines, you use the hides and I hate to throw the skulls away. I mean, they're amazing for educational purposes and they're really neat to, um, you know, like I said about the beaver, to put on a shelf. Um, this turned out really good. This is a coyote. Um, this one is from uh, my friend, Sherry Beatty. She is a big um, coyote hunter. She has a company called Crow's Nest Calls. Um, one of the best coyote hunters that I've ever met. She's a really neat lady. So anyways, this was one of hers. And you can see how white they come out. The beetles are nice because when um, you boil a skull, and we've all done that, um, and it makes a beautiful skull, eventually they'll start to yellow a little bit. Um, some people say no, that they, you know, their skull is fine. And I'm not quite sure how they did it, but that's great if they figured out how to do it. But with the beetles, it allows me to keep the teeth intact, not having to boil. Um, I don't have to use the bleach and these skulls stay white for a really long time. So this is a, an after, um, beetles after boil, after, well not boil, but you know, soaked in hot water, um, and after um, uh, peroxide, clean. So coyote skull, very, very cool. And this one I wanted to show you because this is the beaver skull when it's all done. So this guy, and those are the teeth that I was telling you about. He's really cool. He belongs to um, a really um, uh, big trapping family that um, I'm friends with. It's a mom and a dad and two little girls, and they all run trap lines and hunt together. And they're doing a really great job of passing on some really amazing traditions um, that we all share in here in um, the county that I live in in Pennsylvania. So this is a beaver skull after it is all finished. It's very cool. So that's kind of what I'm working on. That's my project. So not a lot to show you. I can do an update later. Um, these guys are gonna be tough, like I said, because they're pretty old. And this one's cracked. So this one's gonna be hard to do. So anyways, I think I can probably get it pretty white. But Dermested Beetles are, um, pretty neat. They're pretty lethargic right now because it's not real warm in here. In their tank, it's really warm. I try to keep it between 75 and 85, and that keeps them moving pretty good. The I had um, originally said that the beetle is kind of the end stage of the process. What cleans most of the skulls is the larva, and these guys breed really quickly. So the beetles live about five to six months, and then um, they die, and... Um, then I, you know, just keep going through the whole cycle of life. But I never thought in a million years that I would love owning dermestid beetles as much as I do. It's such a neat process and such a great um, learning tank for the kids that come in my shop to get to look at. And they like to see the progress of the animals. And it's just really fun. You can keep them at home. Um, you just have to keep them warm enough. You don't want to put a light on them. They don't really like the light. So heat lamps are kind of tough. So if you can find a spot to keep them warm, and you can keep the smell down. I use an ozone scent eliminator. It's um, commercial grade, but it's really only about this big. Um, and it cost me about $80. So I put that in the room, run that for about 20 minutes a day. And when I have the little animals in there, it's really not bad. Right now I have a bear in there, so the smell is a little bit strong. Luckily my shop is closed right now, so I don't have to tend to it too much. But um, if you can keep the smell down, they're really a fun, um, project to have and they're really great to teach kids about how that cycle works with the beetles eating the flesh from the skull and it's just fun so anyways that's one of the things that I do in my spare time what I'll try to do is keep updating you as to what I'm doing every day whether I'm tanning hides or doing some garden stuff I also do a lot with kids so um, I'll have some fun youth videos with some kids that I'll be working with but thanks for tuning in and um, I will be talking to you soon